Yo guys, what's good, man? It's your boy Dre. Back with another lit video, man. Hope you guys are having a good day right now. All right, I'm having a good day. As you guys can tell by the title, I am gonna be showing you guys how to double rag, and I'm gonna explain why you should double rag. All right. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you have coarse hair, of course you're gonna subscribe because I'm a coarse hair waver as well. You know what I'm saying? And if any of my videos ever helped you guys out, just give it a thumbs up, man. I really appreciate it. You know, comment down below if you need any help. Those of you that know the answers to those comments, just help each other out and we all gonna be wavy. So let's get into it, man. I'm gonna tell you guys why I double rag and I'm gonna explain to you guys, you know, why you should double rag and how to basically. So let's get into it. Yo guys, all right, so we back, all right. So for all you new subscribers out there, this video is for you. All right, so basically what I have on my head is a two, is a, is a sue rag, all right. It's a T sue rag, but I call it a sue rag. And then behind it, I have a pink um, silk do rag. Um, I could have matched it. I could have put on a blue, like a blue silky do rag with this, or a black to match it. But I'm in the house all day, so it's whatever, man. I'll just mismatch. match. All right. So basically, um, why am I? So let let's talk about double ragging. All right. Let's talk about why you should double rag. Okay. Why you should double rag? One. The ragging puts more pressure on your head. It lays your hair down faster than just one do rag. You know if that makes sense. So if you just put one do rag, it's gonna lay your hair down, but not as quick as two of them. Now I don't. Now this is considered a do rag, but you could put on anything. You could put on a do rag wave cap. Um, some people put wave cap do rag. I just think you guys should just put a do rag first and then wave cap, so you can flip it and. I'll show you guys, but basically, yeah, d double ragging is just lays your hair down quicker. You don't have to wait all day for it to lay down. Um, when you take a, usually when you take off just your first do rag, like your your hair sticks up, right? It sticks up, and and no one likes when their hair sticks up when they take a do rag off. So basically, you just throw a bag over it. But me, double ragging is so you know, like I said once again. It puts more pressure. It doesn't stick up hair when I take my hair off. When I take my hair off, when I take my do rag off, dude, I'm everywhere. So basically, that's why I double rag. So this is a suit rag, okay? Um, like I said, you, you don't need to wear this. You don't need to if you don't want to. You can wear two. There's people who wear two do rags. You know, they wear a silky with another silky, or they wear a silky with the velvet. With the velvet, you know. Um, I got retainers in as always, but this. This I've been having this for like, you know, seven years. It's still in good condition. Um, I just got this do-rag. So, if you guys ever want a double rag, you know, you could double rag because you're whooping. You're, you, you're growing your hair off for so long. And just one do-rag is not going to lay it down quick. So, when you're whooping, you put on, you wear two things, you know. So, I just washed my hair like an hour ago. And I barely had my do-rag on for like 30 minutes. So, I don't know if you guys can tell. It just needs to be brushed right now. But... My hair is laid down. It's not fully laid down. It feels so nasty. You ever wash your hair, put your do rag on, and take it off in like 10 minutes, and it feels so nasty? That's how my hair feels right now. So, it feels so nasty. Like, it's not even laid down. There's no hair sticking up. It's just not laid down right now. So, it's in the ripple stage. Where's my brush? Here's my brush as we speak. Let's get a little brush session in real quick. Now I brush everything equally, all right? You don't want to leave nothing out. You don't want to brush one side more than the other side. So my hair length is about three weeks right now. That's where it's at. So you can double rag. If your hair, if you cut your hair and it's only been growing for like a week, you don't need to double rag, man. Your hair is not that long, you know? When your hair is not that long, then you really don't need to double rag like that. But when it gets long, you're gonna need to double rag. So I'm just gonna brush for a little bit before I put my do rag back on. This is a soft brush. My hair is not that long, so I'm putting a soft brush on it. I could put a soft slash medium, but you know I prefer the soft brush to lay down all the hairs that's not laying down yet. Majority of my hair is laid down, but like the little the little hairs, they're not laid down. So we're gonna brush with the soft brush to lay it down. Now, 
what you want to do is, okay, if, if you're Wolfie, you can wear two durags or you can wear a durag and a wave cap, all right? Whichever is best for you or a stocking cap. I have a durag, a silky, and a regular um, shoe rag, all right? I don't know what material is, but it's not a silk. It's just, I don't know. So, I could put two durags on, but I don't want to. So, here goes the first one. Okay, you're going to put this on. A lot of people just do this and tie it. Um, I do that sometimes, but I'm just going to tie it all the way around. See, these durags are, are simple, dude. Like the ones with the strings that, that stretches out like this. Because you can bring it all the way around and open it up. The reason why I get these is because the ones that don't open up like this, it's kind of hard to, you know, keep your durag locked. You know, with the, with these strings, it keeps your durag locked. It keeps your hair locked. And it just doesn't come off. See that? So while the strings are open, you know, don't tie it yet. You got to pull down everything in the back. Pull down things from the side. All right. And then you want to tie it. You want to make sure everything's, you know, pulled down. Then you want to tie it. Don't tie it too hard because you're going to get a headache, man. You get a headache and you're going to get that line on your forehead. So don't tie it too hard. All right. So now that my silk durag is on. All right, I got the strings open, so my durag is on real good. All right, it's not gonna come off when I go to bed and none of that stuff because, you know, it's on real good. Pull this down. Now we're gonna go for the second one. I'm gonna put this on. If you, if you got a stocking cap, you can put this on. Some people they don't even tie their durag fully; they just put durag on. They put a stocking and then they flip the durag over the stocking or the wave cap and then they, they tie it me I tie it around because this is different these have velcros on it you know so no I'm not high dude when pe when I get a shower you know, I wash my hair you're gonna get soapy in your hair regardless all right you're gonna get soapy in your hair regardless so my eyes are always red people always think I'm high dude I'm not they're just red from the soap all right so now that this is on pull it down I could flip it up and then there's more in the front right here. I've been having this for like seven years, dude. An ex bought me this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, dude. My ex bought me this and I still have it. Pull that down. Pull it down the back and boom, there you go. This is still sticking up. I can simp easy just put it in on the side, but I like to hang it out. I'm not going anywhere, so there you have it, man. Silk durag with a shoe rag on. Uh, it's double pressure. It's laying my hair down. My hair is going to be growing for like three weeks, going on to four weeks. So by the time I take this off, and like, like I said, I've only had it on for like 10, 20 minutes. I'm gonna take it off for the hour. Um, I'm gonna put my medium brush on my hair, medium brush, just to go over everything. And then once I go over it, put a bag. Then I'm gonna put a soft brush over it. All right, so that's the reason why I double rag. I don't know other people reasons. I know the main reason why people double rag is because they wolf. Wolfing is you grow your hair off for a certain amount of time and it gets longer and longer. One durag cannot hold it down, not one durag. You can need two durags or you can put a durag in a stocking cap, you know, whichever is best for you. Um, do they sell these? I don't know. I haven't even had a chance to look up if they sell, you know, t su rags anymore because this is still in good condition man I had it for like seven years still in good condition so um if you're wolfing and one durag is not cutting it or whatever brush you're using is not you know brushing it you need to get a better hard brush or if you're wolfing and you need you know more pressure you need to get another durag or you just get a a stocking cap at Walmart or a Sally's whatever near you all right and put it on so my hair is locked in so when it's time to go to bed my, it's gonna stay like this all right it doesn't mess up it doesn't come you know loose none of that stuff so that's the reason why i use double rags to lay my hair down quicker 
and to stop hairs from sticking up. All right, if you have hairs that stick up, put a plastic bag over it because hairs cannot go through a plastic bag. They can't. So just put it over it, lay those little hairs down, and yeah, man. So all my new beginners out there, if you guys want a wolf, make sure you have two things, a do-rag, a stocking cap, or a do-rag and a do-rag. And you have a, a hard brush, or a shower brush, and you got a medium brush, and you got a soft brush, all right? I'm gonna explain to you why. Hard brush is for a shower brush when you're wolfing because the hard brush is gonna lay all that hair down real good. You get out, brush with the hard brush, medium brush, put your do-rag on, take it off after an hour, then you're gonna use a soft brush to lay down all those extra hair sticking up. So, there you guys have it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, I'm gonna keep this on for an hour, take it off afterwards, and I'm gonna put my soft brush on it for about like 30 minutes, 20 minutes with the bag, put one do-rag back on, and we'll call it a day, man. So thank you guys so much for watching. If your hair has been growing for three weeks or more, double rag, all right? If you've been growing, you know, like basically three weeks or more, double rag. If you've been growing like one or two weeks, you need to double rag, all right? So double ragging is, it's important, but if you want to lay your hair down quicker, double rag, all right? So that's basically it, man. It's your boy, Dre. If you ain't brushing, I'm brushing. And I'm out.